So there's a coffee on my desk. My desk is a mess. Adobe Audition has got these lines going up and down. And I've got another Linux distribution going. Well, we'll just take a look at it and have a look, shall we? So today we're going for Ubuntu 21.10. Just been released, I believe. So what does that mean? It means I'm having a look at another Linux distribution. He's tired. He's not the one not getting any sleep. Cheeky sausage. Okay, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump into it. So here it is, Ubuntu 21.10. I have installed a few bits on it already. Oh, coffee. Can't beat it. So let's have a, a nosy on through it, shall we? So from my understanding, Ubuntu is based on GNOME. Where's the settings gone? There you are. There's too many cables on my desk. This mouse keeps getting trapped on a cable. It's annoying. There we go. So, crummy hardware. Sorry about that. But at least it's an SSD now. So, 2110. And it's based on Wayland as well, which might explain a thing or two as to why I can't get some of it running. And I've changed it over to dark mode. You know me, like a dark mode. Oh, that's better. That's better. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, we'll stick with that. Um, why did you move? Yeah, so. Let's have a look at our file structure. There's my downloads, yeah. Now, as you lot will probably know, predominantly I'm a FreeBSD user. So let's see what we got. User, local, and there is an ETC, which is completely empty it's got a swap file okay but uh yeah so we've got an opt which has got chrome in it and davinci resolve now let's see shall we let's have a look at that first so davinci resolve because this is the one thing that is stopping me well actually there's two things there's um a, a non-linear editor for videos which would be this which for god only knows why never opens gets that far and then just dumps itself and i don't know why Run it again. So we get the splash screen. I wasn't getting that on some of the others. And bye bye. Don't want to launch. If anyone has any idea why that's happening, I'd happily take your suggestions and try it. Leave a comment down below. Uh, why are you down there? Give it a like. Give the video a like. Go on, I'll wait. It's fine. Got it? Thank you. Appreciate that. Helps me out with the algorithm. So Chrome is running. Okay. Never been asked for authentication on Chrome before, but hey, that's fine. Let's check it out. Of course we agree. You want to be an IT pro, so you must have all of these tools. 
remote monitoring management, remote access, patch management. Hey all, and welcome back. I'm Gary. Thank you all to the subscribers approaching 400. I'm quite clumsy, aren't I? I'm, uh... Yeah. Let's get that onto a better resolution. So there we go. Playback is quite smooth, given that this hardware is absolutely atrocious. Core 2 Duo. So that works quite well. Yeah, crummy hardware indeed. Um, what else have we got? So let's, uh, oh yeah, I moved it all, didn't I? Right, so we've got GIMP. It's very snappy, I have to say. Feels very, very snappy. Here we go. GIMP works. About 210.28. Can't remember if that's the latest. Not quite, but only a little bit out of date. That's fine. They'll update that at some point, I'm sure. Audacity. 313. Check that out. See if that's the latest. 313 is the latest. Very nice. That's always good. Came with Firefox. Don't like Firefox. As you saw, Chrome ran quite well. LibreOffice. No, we don't want that showing. Right, so. Let's change this keyboard. Okay, so that runs. Actually, before we do that, let's just check out the versioning. 7262. If I remember rightly, that's about... 7.3 is there now, so that's a bit out of date. I'm sure they'll get around to updating that at some point, but that's fine. doesn't need to be the latest and greatest. Just nice to know. Oh, hello. Additional drivers. I wonder if that's my problem. Yeah, you, you search. Well, there's nothing there for, for graphics. That was purely Wi-Fi. So, yeah, okay, fine. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal breaker to me. What else did we have? OBS Studio, yeah. So that runs. At least it did before. Yeah, it's getting there. There we go. Nope. Shut up. Obviously, I've got no recording device. You gotta love coffee, aren't you? Just yummy. Always the way, always the way to start the day. Always so crashed when I do this, isn't he? Yeah. Anyway, so that, that works. I'd need a bit of configuration with the um, microphone and camera, but it works. That's fine. Sudoku, go away. Oh, yeah. This intrigues me. Look at that. PowerShell. Very odd to see PowerShell on something other than a Microsoft operating system now i knew this was here but just did not expect to see it just it's funny seeing it but there it is powershell very very good liking that microsoft are doing this 
cross compatibility is very good. You all need to play nice together. So I think that's about it. Um, I just need to figure out how to get DaVinci Resolve running properly with Wayland. And like I said, if any of you know, leave a leave a comment for me and I'll I'll check that out. It'd be uh, very interesting to see why it's not doing it. So let's have a quick look at our settings. I'll be honest, out of all of them so far, I'm more impressed with this than I am anything else. And from what I've seen, there is a beta available for Ubuntu, which is based on GNOME 43, 42, whichever one is the latest. So I'd be uh, quite interested to check that out. Oh, it is a thousand meg. It is a gig nick. Okay. I thought it was so old that it wouldn't be. I'm actually quite impressed by this one. And this one is one that I could see myself move into. And I may just bung an SSD into my main PC and, and try it. The, the real issue that I've got, of course, is the Go XLR. How would I use that? Now, I'm sure there are drivers. So anyway, what, what do you lot think? Um, is Ubuntu something that you guys could work with? Because I certainly could. Give it a bit of Ryzen juice and a, a GeForce graphics card. I could see it working. Um, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Because I'd be interested on your views on this. Let's see if we can get 30 comments. 30? Yeah, let's do that. See if we can get up to, to at least 50 likes. Don't forget to like. Subscribe and click the bell notification and it will let you know when uh, when my videos are released. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.